we're going to bring you one of the most action-packed tag team matches you've ever seen, and you're going to see it right now. Man tag team contest is well underway. It's the gym class heroes and Rick King against the new and improved engines of chaos. And Eric Main has taken a tremendous beating for the past several minutes, courtesy of Jake Diamond. No doubt all six of these men could not wait for this contest. The bad blood has been brewing for a long time. And it comes to a head right now. And now Maine fighting back, trying to. But Diamond driving the thumb right to the eyes. And that once again brings down one half of the gym class heroes. Maine sent in. Wheelbarrow counter. There's a super kick by Eric Maine. But Diamond responds with one of his own. And now Maine down, there's the cover. And Jimmy the Kid was right there to make sure the matchup was not over. Great agility and extension by Jake Diamond with that super kick. 
Maine has found himself at the mercy of the definition of devastation. And Diamond simply torturing this young star. All oh, Diamond now looking to end it early. And here comes Jimmy the Kid to the rescue. They set up Jake Diamond. Russian leg sweep powerbomb combo. And now Kid makes the cover by Kyle Matthews right there. And now Kid is the legal man inside the ring. Remember, this is Lucha Libre rules. And Diamond puts on the brakes. Kid now going for the Irish whip, but easier said than done with Jake Diamond. Jimmy the Kid up and over. He's got the big man off balance. Springboard high cross body. Had to use all of his momentum to bring down Diamond. And even then, only got a two count. And Kid doesn't want to get too close to Diamond, who drives an uppercut. He rolls out, and here comes the Butcher. The Butcher comes in and targets Jimmy the Kid. And that's not a good thing for the Texas native. Of course, the Butcher wrestles barefoot, and that's like driving bricks into the rib cage of Jimmy the Kid, who now rolls to the floor. And here comes the submission technician, the interstate champion, Rick King, and boy, do these two men have a history. Butcher sends him in. King now comes back, sunset flip. Oh, Butcher tried to counter, but King was one step ahead. And the submission technician is gonna wanna use his speed to stay one step ahead of this maniacal Butcher. There's a kick right to the face. Now King on the top. Here's the high risk, but no. Butcher caught him. Diamond comes in with the assist. And there's the fall away slam. And now Matthew's getting involved. The engines of chaos can inflict a lot of punishment in a little bit of time. Butcher now with the cover and King gets his shoulder up. But he's gotta be hurting courtesy of the engines of chaos. This Butcher is one scary individual and one of the most dangerous wrestlers anywhere. He drags King to the center and drops the elbow. And now the Butcher simply mauling the interstate champion. And drives him head first into Kyle Matthews. Matthews now goes for the cover right there, but no. It was two weeks ago that Kyle Matthews attacked Rick King and joined the Engines of Chaos. And they have said that their hostile takeover starts tonight. The only thing that stands in their way right now are the Interstate Champion and the Gym Class Heroes. And if they can't defeat the new and improved Engines of Chaos, I'm not sure that anybody can. This could be a very dark time for professional wrestling with these three diabolical minds working in unison. This is just a sample of the kind of devastation that these three men could have on professional wrestling. If we don't stop them now, we may never get another chance. And this could be it right here, but no. The heart and determination of Rick King will not allow him to stay down. And I don't think it's over yet for the torture of the submission technician. Matthews comes in, puts the shoulders down. But here comes Jimmy the Kid, who has seen enough of this treachery across the ring. The name of the game is teamwork. And both of these teams have shown that attribute extensively. But now it becomes a game as to who can take the most punishment. And maybe more importantly, who can dish it out? Matthews now with a sleeper hold and trying to wear down the champion. I'm sure Matthews would love a victory over the title holder. But easier said than done. Now King back to his feet, but he still has to break the maneuver. And the jawbreaker does just that. Matthew stunned. And King delivers the Michinoku driver. International flavor being shown by the interstate champion. 
and now trying to go for a tag. Oh, but Jake Diamond comes in illegally and prevents the tag. This match is not no disqualification, and the engines of chaos have been breaking the rules throughout the entire matchup. Come on, ref. And there's an example of the teamwork being shown by the new engines of chaos. We have gotten on the same page rather quickly. Now Butcher makes a cover, and King kicks out, but barely. The Interstate Champion has been worn down by all three members of the Engines of Chaos. This trio of terror has worked very well together, and that's scary. This is the kind of matchup that all six of these men are going to remember for years to come. Butcher now looking to finish off King. Oh, King counters and drives the foot right underneath the chin of the Butcher. And that has brought this Mastodon down. And King can see the forest from the trees, but he's not out of the woods yet. He still has the man attack. And Butcher doing anything he can to prevent it. Tag made to Kyle Matthews. But now all three men are inside. This looks diabolical. Triple team double stomp might have broken the submission technician in half. Referee was out of position and now Matthews applies the submission. The Boston Crab was made famous by the model Rick Martell and targets the lower back region which has been worked over extensively on the submission technician. These fans getting behind King. They're trying to help him out. And King digging down deep and yes, he grabs the bottom rope and that will break the Boston Crab. But that might have been it for the submission technician. That might have been his last ditch effort. He may not have anything left. Or maybe he does. He sent Matthews to the corner. And Matthews brings in the Butcher. And once again, King gets cut off. And now Butcher going after everybody. This monster is a lunatic, a madman, a sadist. And now scratching, clawing, violating the Interstate Champion. There is nothing civil about the Butcher, who I'm sure would love to injure the submission technician and down the line recapture the interstate title. King was sent in but counters. And there's the super kick. Digging down deep into the repertoire, there's the cover, but no. Was unable to distribute his weight across the shoulders and the butcher easily getting out. But at least King was able to create some distance, but here comes the definition of devastation. Jake Diamond and those blows are vicious down across the back of the neck. King once again finding himself in trouble. He calls that backdrop attempted murder and for good reason. There's the cocky cover and King kicks out. Diamond now trying to wear down King but every time they put him down he finds a way to get back up. And that's the mark of a true champion. King now trying to break free. He does. And there's a shot right across the face. He comes off the ropes. He ducks a clothesline and ducks an elbow. Ooh. That was like two 747s crashing into each other. The impact was tremendous. and tags made on both sides. Here comes Eric May. And he's hitting anything that moves. Close line to Kyle Matthews. Here comes the Butcher. And the roundhouse kick brings down the big man. Eric Main, a one-man demolition. There's the cover, but Kyle Matthews right there. Referee now losing control. 
and there goes Matthews. Double clothesline and brings out Jake Diamond. Here comes the Butcher, but evasive maneuvers by Jimmy the Kid. This one has broken down. And there's the Asahi Moonsault by Jimmy the Kid. Eric May now inside the ring by himself, but not for long. High cross body to the floor. Things have really broken down and this contest is one of the most action packed battles I've seen in a long time. These are six of the very best in pro wrestling. Keep your eyes on King. Suicide dive to the floor. Taking out both Jake Diamond and Kyle Matthews while the gym class heroes go after the butcher. And now it's two on one in the favor of the gym class heroes. But the butcher has broken loose. He gets caught. And a pair of stereo kicks bring down the big man. The butcher's down and now Eric Main and Jimmy the Kid are climbing to the top. High crossbody by Main. And there's the San Antonio elbow. The cover. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, your winners.